got Kat, a certified coach from 33talent, 33talent.com. Kat, are you online? Hi, Kat. Hi, Jowen. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, Kat, uh, thank you for your time. Uh, first and foremost, can you tell us a little bit more about 33talent and what it is you do? Sure. So uh, 33 Talent is a talent consultancy. We specialize in recruitment, HR consultancy and coaching. Um, and I'm the head of coaching there. All right. All right. Thank you uh, for, for, for taking time again to be with us. Uh, now, you know, everybody is, is, well, almost everybody is working from home. And it's, it's great to hear from, from a professional. Uh, what can we do to make working from home more productive? Okay, great question. And a question that I'm getting asked a lot at the moment, as you can well imagine. Um, I think, first of all, just stepping back and thinking about the fact that our working world has shifted. Um, obviously, that goes without saying, but with that is coming a whole mixture of different emotions from frustration to anxiety to feeling overwhelmed and this is then having an impact on how we actually do our work um, you know feeling having all those feelings means that our motivation can be affected uh, our energy can be affected we're trying to juggle our work alongside um, other commitments at home so looking after children schooling children all those sorts of things so it's really throwing us all over the place um, and we are creatures of habit and creatures of routine and our routine has kind of gone out the window um, over the past month six weeks or whatever it is um, so firstly just want to say on that be okay with it the more we resist it and push against all of this kind of change the harder we'll find everything um, you know if we can be more open to adapting um, and looking at this as an opportunity to try new ways of doing things and to creating our own routine, um, that will massively help in how we sort of get through the next month or the extended period, depending on how long it goes on for. So in terms of, I guess, managing the work side better, the first one is to put a bit of structure in. That's really, really important. Um, you know, we're, we're used to our routine of getting up and going to work and coming back and kind of ending our day, but we don't have that at the moment. So how do we create a little bit of structure for ourselves at home, which means having a kind of regular start time and end time to our day. Um, but it also means creating a structure that works with all the other things that we may have to do. So if we need to spend time with our kids on their homework, for example, how can we block our time throughout the day so that we can get our work done as well as fill in on those different commitments? And that might mean our day looks very different to what we're used to, and that's okay as well. Um, I think the second one is to really connect with what you're trying to achieve. Um, if we just kind of sit down at our desks and hammer through our to-do list, um, it can just feel like, we're busy, 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 overwhelmed and kind of pumping through things. Whereas actually, if we sit back for a moment and think, what is it that I want to get done this week? What's my main goal for the week? And then what are the small steps each day that I can take to work me towards that goal? That really helps with our focus and our motivation because we have a better sense of what the week is going to look like and where we want to get to for the week. The second one, uh, the, sorry, the third one to talk about is the outcomes that you're looking to. So again, I'm talking a bit more from a coaching perspective here, but what is the outcome that you want to achieve this week, this month, this quarter? <clears throat> and visualize that, like, where do you want your work to have got to? How do you want your team relationships to be working? If you're a manager or a leader, you know, what does, what does the team look like in how it's functioning and what it's doing? And what collectively um, do you want to have achieved by the end of the week or the month? So again, that fuels our motivation and gives us that focus to kind of keep going. Um, one of the other Thank challenges you. that people Thank are really facing right now is... Uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, no problem. No problem. I thought I, thought I would jump in 
uh, as as uh, as you went on uh, on two quick points. Uh, the first first thing you spoke about structure, and and I think you alluded to this a little bit, is that uh, you've got to put some structure in, especially you know uh, just to uh, because we are creatures of habit. Uh, but what people yeah. are, are dealing with at home, uh, they've got kids, they've got you know kids running into video calls. Uh, the, the boundaries between work and home seems to have come down a bit. So for parents with kids at home, uh, home-based learning, do you have any specific tips for them? Um, I think some of it links back to how we block our time. Um, so yes, there's the battle of the kids. And I, part of me would say we have to kind of be okay with it in some way. And people have become much more accepting of a kid's head popping up mid mid call or um, my cats like to walk across the front of my desk sometimes while I'm mid conversation with someone. But I think w with with the kids, it's um, giving them some of our attention for a while uh, so that they feel like they've had something of what they need and finding ways for them to be entertained or to a school so that once they've had that, and kind of feel like they've got something to engage with, we can then turn our attention back to our work. Um, some of the people I'm coaching at the moment say that they're really struggling with needy kids or, or kids who want a lot of attention as they do when they're little and young. Um, and so it's about feed that need first by giving them your time. Uh, All right. You know, maybe right. you map into your day and hour, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Kat. Uh, another, another area about work from home I wanted to address are, are, are the bosses, actually. And you, you mentioned briefly uh, at the outcomes to, to clearly communicate and state what, what some of the uh, expected outcomes are. Um, and and I, you know, the people I talk to, they, they are sort of almost two camps, right? One, uh, work from home is uh, you end up doing even more work. You end up even clocking even more hours and being a lot more productive. Uh, the other camp says, you know, working from home allows you time to nap, to slack, to come to work in shorts. Uh, what's the right answer to that? Well, funnily enough, I don't think there is a right answer because I think it's what works for each of us, right? Um, never before have we had an opportunity to kind of create our day in a way that works for us. Uh, the one thing on the working more that I would say is... Um, if you allow your work to bleed into your entire day so that that is essentially all you do, at some point that will fall over because we still need to recharge ourselves and take breaks and breathe um, and add in the variety that we would normally have in our day. To, so to that camp, I would say ensure that you are switching off at some point. And to the more relaxed side, I guess it's you know, are you getting done what you need to get done? And if so, great, um, kick back, wear your shorts, enjoy the day. If you're not, it might be about clicking back into, you know, what have you got to get done and what outcome are you looking for? Thank you, Kat. I just have one final question before we wrap up uh, this segment. Uh, do you think work from home is here to stay even after this, this whole COVID thing goes away? Oh, very interesting question. <laughs> Um, I think companies will be a lot more open to the notion of working from home now that they've seen how it can work and that technology, when it's being our friend, uh, uh, works beautifully. Um, so I think forever, I don't know, but for a longer period of time, absolutely. Thank you for your time. That was Kat from 33talent.com. Check out uh, what they do online. Thank you, Kat, for your time. Please be safe. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.